Hey there, it's Antho, Mr. Hyperlocal with Hamlet, your real estate resource, and I'm so pleased to be with you in this video as we discuss the psychogeography of my hometown, Laguna Niguel. So what is psychogeography? Well, it is a portmanteau of the words psychology and geography, and it is an examination of how the geography of a place can influence the psychology of people who live there. So here's Earth, and as we zoom in on Laguna Niguel, okay, first we'll stop here and notice that this is the greater Los Angeles area here, and there is a lot happening in this space every day. So much goes down. But when we're down here in Laguna Niguel, we're about as far away from it all as we can get while still having access to it. In fact, as we zoom in a little bit more, we see there's only a couple communities that are more remote from everything that's happening up the 5 and 405 freeways than Laguna Niguel. So when you're in Laguna Niguel, you are far, far away from everything that's happening up there. It's a very remote feeling. And here we'll notice that Laguna Niguel does not actually border the ocean. So you do have terrific access to the entire South Orange County coastline. You can very easily access any place in Laguna Beach, either by coming down Crown Valley and up PCH, or you can go around the backside and come down Laguna Canyon Road and be in downtown Laguna, North Laguna, or any spot down here in between. And you could be there from any place in Laguna Niguel in 20 minutes or less. So great access to that, that whole area. And Dana Point down here, same story. You could drive down Golden Lantern or Niguel or Crown Valley and be at any of these awesome spots in 10 or 15 minutes. We've also got San Clemente down here. San Clemente is maybe 15 or 20 minutes away. And you could be all the way down here at San Onofre State Beach, an awesome, awesome spot in 25 minutes and be on the sand there. So when you're in Laguna Niguel, you do have terrific access to all this. And what happens is though, you do have to go to the beach, right? Because you don't actually connect to the beaches here. So you're going to the beach. And then when you're done and you've had your fun, you go back home to Laguna Niguel. Laguna Niguel has this feeling of being removed from all of that, all that excitement and activity and energy that's happening at the coastline with the waves pounding and the surfing and all that. It's a little far away from that. And we see that very clearly when we look at the terrain of this region. The whole area is very hilly. And Laguna Niguel in particular, the western border of Laguna Niguel, all of this is a very prominent ridge line. This is the highest points in Laguna Niguel all up in here. And so that blocks Laguna Niguel off from Laguna Beach and from the coastline on the west and a bit on the south as well. And then on the eastern side here, this is another very prominent ridge line. And that blocks Laguna Niguel off both physically and psychologically from everything that's happening here on the 5 Freeway, Mission Viejo, these other communities, etc. So you go out and you have great access to everything that's happening in Southern Orange County. You have great access to the 5 Freeway. You can go up north and to where all that stuff is happening. So much life. But you can come back to Laguna Niguel always where it is sheltered and protected. It's got this this feeling of shelter, right, and, and safety. It's chill and it's restful in Laguna Niguel. Those are the vibes. My name's Antho, Mr. Hyperlocal with Hamlet, your real estate resource. It's been a total pleasure talking to you about the psychogeography of Laguna Niguel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video where we discuss the physical geography of Laguna Niguel and point out some of the local landmarks. Mm -hmm.